Okay guys, so everything seems to be working, but not quite yet. Right now, let's try to visit our login. And what we are hearing is trying to get property of known object from the front end controller. So what is going on? Let's go to our web.php and I'll show you what's going on. So right here, we are passing in the slog and we are using a front end controller. So Laravel is understanding this login as actually a slog and it's rather using this controller rather than going to the login page. So to fix that, we're just going to say prefix this with post. So we know that we are trying to access a post and if we refresh, Laravel takes us now to our login page successfully. Okay. So if we're trying to access a post, we'll say blog.dev slash post then the slog. Okay, so let's head over to our first post right here. So I'm just going to head over to that post. And right here, we discovered that we need to get to the previous and next post. So let's go ahead and find that. Okay, so you see right here when we are using the post, we have an error and the images are not rendered. That's because we are not using assets in our single dot blade. So if I come back here, all of these we can put in assets. Okay, so I'll just put that right now. Okay, so I just did, and if I refresh, it discovered that right there the images are rendered correctly. So the next and previous buttons. For us to have the next and previous button, we're just gonna get the next post and the previous post and also pass, pass this data to our view. So what we're gonna do here is say next ID, we'll get the next the ID of the next post. And how are we gonna do this? We'll query our database. So we'll say get the post where the ID is less than the post ID right here. So we'd get all the posts where the IDs are less than, or we should actually get the posts where all of them are greater than. So for example, if this post is of ID five, we'll get all the posts where they're greater than, and then we're going to get the post where we have the minimum ID. So if the post ID here is five, we'll get maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten till all the posts are done. And then we'll get the minimum, which will be six. So that will be the next post. Then for our previous ID. So this minimum ID right here gives us the minimum ID from all of those posts. So right here we have the ID of the next post. So right here, we'll just say post where the ID is less than the post ID and right here would get the maximum ID. So for example, if this was post of ID five, we're going to have four, three, two, one, and then the maximum there will be four. So that will be the previous post. So right here, we just need to pass in that data. So we'll say with, and we'll just call this next, which is going to be the next post. And we'll just say post find using the next ID. Okay. And right here, we're going to say next and we'll say previous. So with the previous and we'll say post find with the previous ID right there. Okay. So everything looks set up. Let's go and view right here. We're going to use the previous and next button. So this is the previous button. This is the next button. So let's do for the next button. So for our next button, we're just going to be replacing this tag right here with a link to the post. So we'll say route and we'll go to the single or the post dot single route and we'll have to pass in the parameter. So it's the slog and the slog is the slog of the next post. So we'll say next slog. Okay. And right here, we're going to be saying next post, but right here, we're going to be passing in the name of the next post. So right here, we'll say next and we'll say title right there. So let me just save that. And if I refresh right here, trying to get property of known object in our view. Okay. So this is actually the latest post and uh, we don't have a next post. Okay. So if we check right here, we don't have a next post. So what we're going to do is say, we'll wrap this anchor tag in an if statement and we'll say if next and if and let's paste that in and see if that's going to work and it works. So it means when we don't have a next post, that link is not going to be there. But if we do, then it's going to be generated, but let's just go ahead and take care of the previous post 
and then we'll be able to see that button working. So we'll say if previous, meaning it's not null from our queries in the database, then we'll paste that right in there. So if there's a previous route, then it's gonna demo show us this. And right here, we're gonna pass in our route method, and this is gonna be post dot single. And we're gonna pass in the slug right here, and this is gonna be post slug. Okay, so right here, we're gonna say previous post, and right here, we're gonna echo out the title of the post. So we'll say previous, and it's gonna be title. And obviously, this is not post, this is previous. Remember, the parameter we are passing is previous, so the variable name. So let's check it out. So if I refresh, obviously, we have a previous, and we have a dependency injection. So right there, dependency injection in Lava. Okay, so if I go to dependency injection, we should have a previous and a next post. So we have a next, a, a next post, which is going to be jogging, helps for better thinking and previous which says maintain application state in javascript we should probably exchange the positions of this because it kind of looks weird the next is always supposed to be on the right so let me copy this and i'll cut it and i'll put it right here okay so let me refresh that and it looks better so we should probably say previous post right here so we'll say previous and here we're gonna say next okay so let's refresh and that looks better previous post next post so we go to the next post this is maintaining application state in javascript we can read and read and go to the next post and read and go to the next post and when we reach the first post, there is no button or no link to go to the next. Okay, so we're not yet there. So let's go to the next again. And okay, okay, there's still another one. And uh, okay, so those are all our posts and then there's no longer a next button. So that works as expected. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.